In this continuation on imports video, we're going to kind of expand on what we did in the last one. In the last video, we learned how to upload individuals, households, and organizations. But one of the powers of a CRM is that you can show the linkages and relationships between individuals, um, individuals and households, individuals and organizations, um, because that might be something that is useful to your, um, to your partner. So what we're going to do is learn about how to actually upload these things and understanding the order of operations that is important when you're doing this kind of thing. The number one thing to understand about doing uploads in Civi CRM is that you should only do one type of thing at once. For instance, you cannot you can import hundreds and hundreds of individuals at once or hundreds of households or hundreds of organizations but you can't upload individuals and organizations or households and individuals because they're different contact types. Likewise, you can only import, um, you only want to import one particular type of relationship at once just so that you don't have to worry about um, Civi CRM kind of wigging out and not understanding what it is that you want it to do. Um, we're gonna go through a couple of examples of this. As always, test, test, test. Do this on your own, and if it turns out that I'm wrong about some of this stuff and you can do it faster, then all right, sweet. Then you've learned something good. Let's get started. I'm going to go back to my raw individual contact sheet. Remember that this is the Excel file that I have all my raw contact data that I'm working from. And let's look at one of the first um, relationships that we want to do. So how about, we have these employers. Again, those are the organizations that we uploaded in the last video. We have people that are employed by them. Specifically, all these guys over here are employed by these things over here. So one thing that we could do is um, copy just the people that have employers and um, create a new CSV, upload them, get rid of all the extraneous information that's already there. Um, but we don't actually have to do that. Um, if we do the upload right, then Civi CRM will understand what it's supposed to be doing. So I'm just going to go ahead and upload my whole individual's sheet. These are individuals. And now here we come into um, setting our setting the behavior for what's supposed to happen with duplicate contacts. There's a little thing right here that tells you what each one of these things do. I'm going to select fill, which means that it will fill in additional contact um, data only. So if I have somebody, let's say um, Jon Snow, already in the database, then it's not going to change any of the information except new data that I give it. In this case, it's going to be a relationship data. So I'll go ahead and select fill. The dedupe rule, this is not something I fully understand, but I'm just going to go name an email. And we don't have anything having to do with dates, so this isn't important, but I might as well hit MMDAYY. I have a field mapping set up, but I'll show you how to do this. I don't need most of this stuff in here. I'm just going to hit do not import for all the things except for first name, last name, and email because these are uh, these are going to be used for um, identification purposes. I'm just going to go through and uncheck all the stuff that is not necessary to import. So I'm just importing the names which is going to be used for um, identification purposes and their employee name or their employer name which is matched with an organization name. I'm going to save this field mapping and call this... Let's see if I have any... Um, duplicate import mapping name. Oh, I already had that one. Employer import to, whatever. So do we have any errors? Uh, no errors. It looks like the um, stuff is right in there. I'm going to put this into um, job import list just to keep myself um, 
nice and organized so that when I delete this later so I can go on to some other thing, um, do some other examples, then it'll be gone. And there we go. We've got um, 32 total number of rows of imported data. This is saying that um, 12 of the rows um, did not have anything to do with this, meaning that these 12 right here, or, sorry, these 12 right here, as you can see, had absolutely no new data presented to it. As you remember, we didn't import anything. All of this is, um, the only new data that we gave them is employer information. We said that they are an employee of. These 12 contacts didn't have anything there. These 12 did. And so that's what it's telling me that total contacts updated were 24. Let's take a look at this group and see um, the people who have been changed. These are all the people and the organizations that uh, are involved with this import. Let's take a look at the Night's Watch. And you'll see that we now know all the people that are employed by the Night's Watch that are part of our um, database. You remember in the first video how I had added a relationship by just um, manually adding one. Here we've been able to upload an entire resource of them. Knowing what we know now, we can also start importing household information. I'm going to use the same individuals.csv. I'm going to go for fill again, dedupe rule. I'm going to just do email, reserved. And to save um, time, I'm just going to do household import. I have a saved field mapping because I know this is something I need to do um, a lot of times. I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that this is all correct. And it indeed is not. This should be email. I'm not matching parents right now. Their household. Scroll down to related contact info. They are household member of. Find household name. Match to contact. Is there anything else we're trying to import? No. Let me go ahead and update the field mapping. It doesn't seem to be any problems. I'm going to go ahead and put this into a group called. And there we go. As was predicted, there's 15 people who are not members of households. Let's see. Uh... Oops. Let's see, 15 individuals do not have households, therefore they, there was nothing that happened with them. But we can check it, take a look at the household members. So, using the basically the same thing that we did before to in, import employer-employee relationships, we also did that with um, individual and household relationships. We didn't do them at the same time because that may or may not have caused problems. Um, you can definitely check to make sure that it doesn't cause any problems, that you got all the outcomes that you expected and that it didn't create any uh, duplicate contacts. And in this very next step, we're going to show you what happens when you do an import wrong, uh, having to do with relationships, and what happens and how to correct that.